Hello everyone. Welcome back to SAP Manufactory, your go-to channel for mastering SAP concepts and production planning insights. Today, we will break down two essential terms in the world of SAP and production planning, capacity and scheduling. These concepts might seem similar, but understanding their differences can significantly impact your production efficiency. Stick around and let's dive in. We will cover a range of subtopics to give you a thorough understanding. Here is what we will explore. What is capacity? What is scheduling? Key differences between capacity and scheduling? Real world integration scenarios. Let's start with the capacity. Simply put, capacity refers to the maximum amount of work that a resource, be it a machine, labor or tool can handle in a specific time frame imagine you have a machine in your plant that can produce 100 units in a 24 hour that's the machine's capacity in sap capacity planning helps you visualize and manage these limits tools like the capacity planning table and the resource planning give you an overview of resource availability and utilization if you would like to learn more about the resource planning table and its functionalities check out the dedicated video available on this channel now let's talk about scheduling scheduling is all about timing it determines when a task or operation should start and finish ensuring you meet deadlines and optimize resource usage for example scheduling ensures that a production order due next week is completed on time by aligning task with available resources in sap tools like the production scheduling board or detailed scheduling are your go-to for managing timelines and prioritizing tasks if you would like to learn more about the production scheduling board and its functionalities check out the dedicated videos available on this channel how do these two concepts differ let's break it down capacity focus on resource limits it answers the question how much can be produced scheduling focuses on timing it answers the question when will it be produced while well, capacity ensures you don't overcommit resources scheduling helps you organize tasks within those limits example imagine a machine with the daily capacity limit of 100 units scheduling determines whether to run the next order tomorrow or prioritize a different task for producing 200 units each order has a production quantity of 100 units if two orders are planned sequentially completing 200 units will require 48 hours in this case required capacity 48 hours required scheduling time 48 hours now if you prioritize this order and plan to use an additional resource two machines can be used to complete the 200 units in parallel in this scenario required capacity still 48 hours total across both machines required scheduling time reduced to 24 hours since both machines operate simultaneously this distinction is reflected in the capacity and scheduling formulas at the work center if you would like to learn more about how to set up the work center master data check out the dedicated video available on this channel in the real world managing scheduling and capacity is very critical for an example if you are a responsible person for a particular production line you are sequencing the orders according to the available capacity in this example we have taken two orders each contains 100 units 
and the line capacity also it is a hundred units in twenty four hours. So to produce two hundred units, the system taken forty eight hours scheduling time. That is from sixth to eighth. That is forty eight hours it taken as a scheduling time. As part of capacity, we can check in the resource planning table. If you see here, on both the date, it consumed 100%, that is again 24 hours. So 24 hours plus 24 hours, 48 hours it consumed. If I see the detail here, it is a plan order 5752. On the next day, it is 5753. But due to the customer demand, you're supposed to prioritize both orders on the same day. So in that case, you are introducing new alternative resource and scheduling the second order on the same day. Now, if you see here, we have taken two resources each 24 hours. That means we record 24 hours plus 24 hours capacity. That is, that is 48 hours capacity to produce 200 units. But if you check out the scheduling time, it records only 24 hours, not 48 hours. So this is how you can understand what is the difference between scheduling and capacity? To sum up, capacity is about how much and the scheduling is about when. Together, they ensure smooth production planning and execution. Have you faced challenges with the capacity or scheduling in your projects? Drop a comment below and let's discuss. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like share and subscribe to SAP Manufactory for more insights into SAP and manufacturing processes. See you in the next video.